right, so check it. Apple just announced its newest supercomputer, the all-new redesigned Mac Pro. And when you look at that, look at that new design. Where have I seen that before? For the low, low price of six thousand. Oh, come fucking on, six thousand dollars. Did they not make enough money from AirPods becoming a representation of the second Christ? Well, nonetheless, coming in at the price of an M211 GMC 6x6 deuce and a half, you can get this thick workstation! I'll be getting into the specifications and how much debt you'll be thrown into after taking your concerns to some loan sharks to get your hands on this, but let's talk about that really, uh, gouda looking design. <laughs> Sorry about the puns throughout these. Without a doubt, they're gonna be really cheesy! Attempting to rebound from the $3,500 trash can resembling mess from 2013, we now have a $6,000 cheese grater resembling mess here in 2019! Stated to be built and engineered to have a wide range of uses, virtually unlimited possibilities for customization, they basically said, we see these custom PC builds you normie Windows users are doing, look at us, customization galore! And we have custom handles and feet on our cases because we're Apple, eat a dick! Behold the new design and bow down to the absolute flexibility and uncompromising utility that would be found in any other premium PC case. And the same parts will cost you half the price while you've been considering investing your dollars in this. Just buy a full modular case, find equivalently powerful parts, and hackintosh! Give up your last bit of self-respect for the dual-sided logic board built for configuration and expansion! The star of the show being the 28-core Xeon that can run at maximum power! 12 dim slots so you could stuff 1.5 terabytes of RAM into this behemoth. How the actual fuck you're going to use that much RAM is beyond me. Oh, and did I forget to mention those 8 PCIe slots for experiencing more expansion than someone with erectile dysfunction experiencing the concoction of Viagra and Cialis? As well as a new graphics module with 12 Thunderbolt 3 ports, up to 4 Radeon Pro Vega 2 GPUs, enabling you to absolutely destroy Minesweeper at ultra settings at 16K resolution. Oh, and did I forget to mention the programmable accelerator card, Apple Afterburner, what does it do? I couldn't tell you to save my life. This absolute unit of a computer is powered by a 1.4 kilowatt power supply. An advanced thermal architecture makes this boy nice and cool, but surely in 10 years when it runs at full throttle, trying to run the simplest programs, it'll make an amazing space heater like the Power Mac G5s. And now the design. I know there's gonna be a lot of cheddar in the comments section about this, and anyone who thinks it looks pretty cheesy, I'll have to disagree. The pattern is stated to maximize airflow and go into the streamlined design. Put it on a dolly and roll that shit around. I don't give a damn. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, we also got a new overpriced display to go along with your overpriced computer. Pro Display XLR. Turn that boy around and what the actual sh**? You have razors to shred down your cheddar cheese, as well as your dollar bills. 20 million pixels and 6K resolution stretched over a 32-inch display that will send a stream of blood pumping to your intense, shaking eye sheep erection. And the magnetic display works wonders, as we all know what magnets are capable of. And you think the monitor stand, which works intricately with the monitor, would be included alongside the monitor? Apple stares at you and utters, Am I a joke to you? As they proceed to charge $1,000 for a fucking monitor stand, what the f so, Apple states with this workstation there are unlimited possibilities. So perhaps the possibility of generating enough money to get back the $6,000 to pay off those loan sharks that lent you the money to buy the most powerful cheese grater in planet Earth before they hunt you down and steal your firstborn child is possible.
Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. And since you made it to the end, I wanted to show off some fan art that you guys submitted to my Discord. I've been honored and humbled to receive fan art like this and this and this. But I've also received some pretty cool fan art from some actual super talented people. So here they are. I will link their social media up here. If you guys want to send me fan art, join my Discord and drop it in the fan art channel. And I'll be sure to feature it at the end of one of my videos. Thank you guys so much. You guys really are the best. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching. I'm Flowmotion. And I'm out.